Une question. Une question. J'ai une question. Cette carte est nuts ou cette carte non nuts? That is the question. En golo cante pa la 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 la. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the King Kenneth Kenny Lala, aka the Return of the King Player Moments Episodia. That is right, EA on a Sunday, a day that uh, recently, the past few weeks, uh, EA have taken off in terms of releasing content and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. And it is none other than King Kenneth Lala from back in the day. You guys would have remembered last year he had himself a nutty card. He had himself that team of the season card, and today he returns in full force with a near 400 total in-game upgrade, and instantly becomes not only one of the best wingbacks in uh, in League One, joins the like uh, joins the likes of Yusuf Atal and then uh, Thomas Delaney, um, Delaney or however you say his name, the uh, the League Un, um League SBC left back, one of the options for that league, but uh, turns into like I said, one of the best players in all of FIFA in terms of being a wingback, and completely ruins Marcelo's party. Why did Marcelo? Marcelo get that minimum upgrade, and then this Kenny Lala comes in and absolutely gets freaking jacked off. Oh! We are here today to find out if he is worth the price. We're going to use him in a couple of games as a winger as well as a defender. Uh, if you guys are hyped for the King Kenneth Epi, I know a lot of you guys uh, have been hoping for this uh, hoping for this card across the course of the year. Uh, if you guys are hyped for the Epi, if it helps you in some way, shape, or form, like I always say, boys, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, let's dive right into it. He's got the high medium work rates. He's got the three star, three star, which is a little bit meh. One of the combos would have been great, right? Like a four star weak foot would look good on this card. Uh, for those of you guys that follow Ken, uh, Kenny Lala and, and, and know what his uh, career is about. Do you think he deserves either four-star skill moves or four-star weak foot? But that's either here nor there. We're not going to get it today. Uh, we go into and look at his stats. Acceleration and sprint speed. It's not quite foot miss Mendy levels, but he's got 99 attacking positioning. He's got 89 shot power. The finishing is a little bit uh, a little bit suspect. Obviously, you're not looking for him to finish a whole lot of chances for you with him being three-star, three-star. You're just looking for a dominating presence as a right back or possibly using him as a right wing back and having him join the attack. Obviously, he has that 99 attacking positioning. Only a few players in the game have that without jacking off the chem style. So, the passing stats look otherworldly. 85 vision, 99 crossing, 90 short passing, and 93 long passing. Crossing is something that I have a huge issue with this year. Uh, getting down the wing and then finishing chances once I'm inside the box with a winger is not something that I've been great at. Yesterday, we showed it off a little bit with that Ante Rebic card, which we're going to continue today. The dribbling stats are a little bit suspect as well. I mean, for a guy... Um, how tall is he? He's 5'10". I feel like he should have a little bit better dribbling stats than that. 75 agility, 79 balance, 87 reactions, 88 ball control with the 89 dribbling, and then the composure's a little bit mess. So the 61 finishing, 79 composure. Not sure you exactly want to try or attempt to finish with him. We're going to run a shadow chem style in the first game. Might try a sniper in the second to get the shooting and dribbling off. Uh, and then defending stats, this is where he comes to the rescue. Defensive awareness, 85, goes up to 95 with the shadow chem. 88 interceptions goes up to 98. Standing tackle goes up to 90. And then slide tackle uh, gets maxed out with the plus 14. And then the 91 stamina, of course. And then the 88 aggression. So towards the end of the... Uh, towards the right side of the card is where his card really shines. Now, we're going to feature him in a squad with some league and teammates. We're going back to Alex. Listen, we've got this Sanson card who I believe is one of the best pickups that you could possibly have. Marseille are currently second on the league and table, absolutely bossing out this year. Uh, and he would go up to an 86 rated card if he gets himself an inform and or Marseille win four games in a row. So that would be a massive, massive upgrade indeed. Um, and his card already looks pretty good as well. So we're going to try him out with a with an engine chem style and see uh, if he might be worth the coins. Only goes for like 32,000 coins. Match number one with the Kenny Lala King. Kenneth, Return of the King Epi, match number one, Los Gates. So smart! Putting the bike on the edge, just to fart on it. All right, come on, boys. A 
Dante Rebic. Boys, if you guys have missed the episodes over the course of the past couple days, you will have missed that Ante Rebic is an absolute god. He is the creation god, and who assists it? None other than King Kenneth Lala. See, I can't do I can't do it. Even with a guy that has incredible crossing stats, even with a guy like uh, Kenny Lala. I'm just not able to get those crosses through, dude. Ah, just took too many touches. There's no catching it. Adama Traore gets open in the uh, gets on the open field. There's legitimately, I mean, 99 pace, 99 acceleration. There's absolutely no catching the guy. I think that's one of the only ones he missed. We didn't put enough power on it. Again, just can't. I want Lala back there, and we are going to bring on our own Adama Traore and show him what's up. We're gonna fight fire with fire. Boys. Alexis Sanchez, if we can draw this game level, look, that's all I'm asking for. Look, I wish Kenny Lala could play everywhere. I just need to know who that. Perisic? Buzzer! Who else are you gonna rely on? I don't think I've ever been as excited to draw a match. Yo, Ante Rebic. He had one miss, and you wanna know what the sad thing is? That miss is probably the reason we we got the draw. We would have got the dub there. Alright, so boys, we're gonna try the 433. Alright, boys, we got the sniper chem stall on him. Let's see what he does. Alright, so agility in theory goes up to 85, balance goes over 80, uh, reactions goes over 90, ball control goes over 90, and then dribbling goes up to 99. Is what is possible not only with a King Kenny Kenneth Lala but that is what is possible with a 343 if you just break out of your comfort zone a little you can perform some absolute mad lad wizardry should have been goal number two bro it's so, it's so, I don't know if, I don't know if joyful is the right word to use, but it's such a joy seeing the plays, uh, seeing the players, seeing the players overlap like that. Like successfully making those runs, you know what I mean? Finish him. Referee? No. Yeah. Come on, bro.
تحركات ممتازة ويزاف ويزاف جول ويزاف Moses Daddy Simon's coming on, boys. You know what that means. Why didn't I just run with Moses? Moses was through. So King Kenny gets himself an assist. We only score one goal in that match, bro. We were better than this guy. Are you kidding me? Legitimately, the moment I start gassing a player up, <laughs> that's when it happens. Nice! No! Oh! Lala! Come on, boys! Dreams to Fairlon Mendy, the wing back bros, wing back to wing back. Did you see the strength to body off the defender? Did you spe see the speed down the line? Did you see the attack and positioning to get himself in a position uh, to accept that pass? There you go, bro. I got you, man. Dude, I gave this guy a win. I got him some of his league gun objectives. I better get a message, man. Prime Mix player packs. I don't know if these are tradable, but at least you get two packs from the SBC. I'm in my boxers right now, so I gotta be careful not to show everything. Uh, let's see what we get here. Um, we get ourselves. The one thing I want to check here is if uh, if the pack is tradable or not. 200, yeah, 250,000 coins on the dot. Uh, look, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, and it's not. See, the issue here is you don't even have to be committed to League Gun. You could, if if you run Long Lay, if you have like a Sanson, or maybe you're going for that Awar storyline, a card. Um, French makes this a way, way more attractive SPC, uh, and I am going to give it, in terms of value, boys, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five stars. Now, in terms of on the pitch performance, four out of five, you feel the strength, and the one thing that I said consistently throughout the epi is his attacking positioning. His attack positioning is legitimately the main thing that you notice if you run him in a formation where it's like a 4-3-3, maybe you have him as a winger, or if you run him in a 3-4-3 in a variant where you have him as a true wing back and he's joining the attack, you definitely feel the impact impact of his stats there uh, more than you would if you just played him as a right back. That is going to do it boys for the epi. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Catch you guys over on Mixer for the remainder of my 13 weekend league games. We're going for Elite. Uh, and then if not that, we're going to try and hit Gold 1. Uh, but like I said boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'd give this a thumbs up. It's hella expensive, but he's just such a dominant card. Strength and attack and positioning for days. And uh, I'm a really, I'm, I'm a fan of this card. I didn't, I didn't think I was when I looked at the stats initially, but once you get a card in game, you just never really know until you get them in game. Be cheap. Live cheaply. But anyway, bros, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.